Hi, I'm Perry Franklin from Learning Exchange with a basic introduction to the molding system. The molding system begins when you have an object that can be injection molded. For example, I modeled a simple cup which consists of a revolve and a few rounds. I'm going to create a new mold using this cup. The tool for making molds can be found in the new dialog box, select manufacturing, mold cavity. I'll call the new file cup mold. Now I'll need to pull in my reference part. Simply click on Locate Reference Model. Navigate to where the reference part is located and select it. Click OK and OK again and then Done Return. Now my cup is displayed. Note that you cannot modify the original part from here. Unfortunately, my pull direction is facing the wrong way. The pull direction represents the direction in which the pieces and the part separate. If I created a mold that used the current pull direction, it would never come off. I move the pull direction by clicking pull direction and selecting the orientation I want using the data. Now I'll create a workpiece. The workpiece defines how large and what shape the mold components are going to be. I'll select automatic workpiece. First I need to select the origin. For simplicity, I'll select standard rectangular. I will offset the sides of the workpiece by 2 inches each. But if I look at the actual dimensions, they are very large decimals. I usually change them to round numbers, since these numbers will matter much more later on than the offset. Now click OK to generate the workpiece. Next I need to define a silhouette curve. The silhouette curve finds the points where the surface of the reference model changes from facing up to facing down. This is also where the surface changes from needing a bottom mold component to a top mold component. I'll select silhouette curve, then click OK. Now I create the parting surface, or the boundary between the two mold components. I'll click parting surface, then skirt surface. I'll select the silhouette curve, click done, click OK, and click OK. Next I will use the parting surface to create two mold volumes. Mold volumes are surfaces that define spaces that can become mold components. The easiest way to define the two mold volumes I'll need is to use the volume split tool. I'll make sure two volumes and all work pieces are selected, then click Done. I'll select the parting surface and click OK. I'll name this piece Cup Core and the other piece Cup Cavity. Now I will use the mold volumes to create the components. I will select Cavity Insert and select All. Under Advanced, I can rename the components and also set a template for parts. This is the most basic use of the mold system in Creo Parametric 2.0. If you want to use this mold, you would also have to use runners and water lines to get material into the mold. The mold system also allows you to create much more complex structures. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This is Perry Franklin from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more tutorials from PTC University or learningexchange.ptc.com.